Karle fylder snart et år. Hun er vant til at være hjemme. Hendes liv har indtil nu handlet om at lære sig selv og sin familie at kende og at skabe mening ud af alt det, hun udforsker. Men lige om lidt venter et bræt skift, som vil forandre hendes verden for altid. Hun skal begynde i vuggestuen langt væk fra hjemmets trygge og velkendte rammer. Her skal hun lære at overleve og klare sig i et fremmed univers. Og det er en læring, der har stor betydning for, om hun får succes i livet. Det er en af Karlas første dage i vuggestuen Gnisten. Skal vi få til far? Vel, far. Vel. Og det er første gang nogensinde, Karla skal undvære mor og far i så lang tid i helt fremmede omgivelser og i fremmede arme. Hvad må hun tænker bag det tilsyneladende rolige blik? Penelope Leach, psykolog og anerkendt forsker inden for børns udvikling, har et bud. I can't describe the child's inner landscape, and I'm glad I can't, because I think it must be very, very threatening. What we know the child has got to cope with is complete confusion, because she doesn't yet understand the key things about being left. She doesn't understand that daddy will come back. She doesn't understand when daddy will come back. She doesn't understand any explanation that she's been given about why she's here, and she doesn't understand who these other children or this other caring person are. So she's completely at sea, and I think it is better to assume she's terrified, whether it's obvious or not. Penelo Pelic har gennem mere end 50 år været en populær ophavskvinde til bøger og tv-programmer om børn. I de seneste år har hun især forsket i dagtilbudenes betydning for børns trivsel og læring. I think research suggests very much in how hard hit they are by this transition. I don't believe any child is not hit by it. And the parents who say he loved it from the first day, I look at them a bit like this, you know, kind of over my spectacles, wondering if that's quite the case. And I say this because sometimes a child will distract herself and it looks as if she's okay. And I think the crucial thing is to say to yourself, would you be okay if you were this child? And the answer is no. Selv erfarne vuggestuebørn som William her, Carlas nye stuekammerat, kan stadig opleve afskeden med mor lige så voldsomt, som var det første gang. Ingen vej tilbage. Mor er gået. Nu starter processen med at skabe tryghed. Her spiller pædagogen, som har taget mod William, en vigtig rolle. If you put a small child into a group and go away, just like that, that child drowns, emotionally drowns. The the other person that they've got to know and learn to trust is a life raft that they can float on until the known person comes back again. Det 
Alene tid med masser af hans bil er nyt og spændende, men for Carla spiller en konstant og nærværende voksen endnu den vigtigste rolle for, at hun bliver fortrolig med vuggestuen og kan indgå i gode sociale relationer. Evidence is that changes of care provider are extremely important, often traumatic, always stressful, and that children who've had consistent care, both by the same provider within a setting and by their parents not moving them around all the time, do very much better on all measures of happiness, well-being, success than children who haven't. So, lot a big share of an adult a consistent adult, um, planned activities. Those are the absolutely crucial things, I think. 